Hey everyone, this is Nick Inc. from UC Tattoos in Cornwall. And I just want to show you the new power supply I got in today, which is the Critical CX2G2. And give a little bit of a comparison towards the old one that I have, which is the Hurricane HP2. Um, what is really cool about this is it actually comes um, factory sealed. Which, I don't know, it's not really a big deal, but I like it. It's not really fresh. It's got a really, really nice, like, flat finish on the box. And there's some information on the sides. On the top, it just says critical. Um, there's a little user guide the sticker. I don't really like how it's bent, though. And my sticker. Um, it tells you there's a thank you for buying it. Um, shows you the mounting options, how to mount it, what, what the plugs are, what all the buttons do for the 6162. And there's configurations and options and what all the displays do. And I mean, a little explanation of Hertz, Settle, and Duty. And troubleshooting and then warranty in a little spot for units. This is the actual unit itself. It's got a serial number and a model number on the back. Input and output. And then it says critical tattoo on the back. It's the same height as the HP2. Actually, it's the exact same size. And, uh, your power plug with the other side is in here as well. And there's a wing nut and the mount itself. The mount has these little notes that fit into little holes in the back of the unit. And then you put the wing nut in to keep it steady and you can even put it to the side. <clears throat> this is the magnetic base, which there's also a magnetic base on the HP2, and you can hear how strong the magnets are. I don't want to put them in here, obviously. And then the HP2 has strong ones as well. But the HP2, it doesn't have like the wing nut that holds it onto the base, it's just these little hooks, so they pull off pretty easily. Probably not. Put this in really quickly. It's pretty much, well, not pretty much like the HP2, as I'm pretty sure these were out first. But they're very similar to each other. the screen on. Unlike the HP2 where it's the actual backlight that's lit up, this is it's the numbers that are lit up. This is keep going garbage because I'm not going to be using this up this video. And as you can see they're very similar. The label what each of the ports are for. Uh, they both have the stopwatch. This doesn't actually beep whenever you push the button though. This one does. Um, it has presets. And it's up and down to adjust. Voltages. When you switch between the presets, it doesn't actually remember like what the preset was. So if you change it and switch, it'll be whatever you changed it to. It doesn't save an actual preset. So like if you adjust 
the first preset on the right to 55 and then adjust it to 5.5 and then adjust it to 5.6 and won't go back to 5.5 and see it remembers the last preset that was used. Actually, we'll start with this. Start with in. This is a Hildebrandt. 0 carbine. This is not unloaded. No, 6.3 unloaded on the HP3. HP2, sorry. center instead of the stopwatch it has this button which it removes your pedal the critical is actually six amps and it has four amps continuous and it also has Jumpstart, which can be, which will make it be able to be used with um, rotary machines. The HP2 can't use be used with rotary machines. You can turn the key clicks off, and there's a little. I don't know if you can see it, but there's actually a little meter. It says meter, and that's where you set how much you charge per hour. It goes up. You can change it up and down by five. It shows you can change the currency, USD or European. There's a sink button. And it shows the model and manufacturer date. And there is a way, I have to read the manual, but there is a way to change what, what it says on the screen. There we go, you hold it right. And it shows your hertz, duty, settle, amps, the time. What preset you're on, your voltage. Or you can have it show the voltage, preset, time, session, run time. So the run time is actually how long the machine is actually running. And when the machine's on, you push in the pedal, it shows a little pound sign as well. And then the session time is when you actually have the timer running. Standby. And that's pretty much the main differences between the two power supplies. This is actually going to make the critical is going to make your machines run a lot faster. Well, not faster, but a lot at the same speed, but on a lower voltage compared to the hurricane and I don't even know if you'd be able to see this but the way the hurricane is lit up it's actually if you get the wrong angle it makes everything all, all inverted and you can't see it it only sits on these little hooks so it gets knocked loose pretty easily the magnets are just as good this is a really good like, budget power supply if you don't have $300 to drop on the critical I paid 345 Canadian for it. Um, it's like two two fifty American plus postage and tax. Comes with the power cables, both the sticker, the unit itself, and all the box, and the wingnut, everything you need for the machine itself. I definitely recommend it. Um, costs a pretty penny, but it's worth it for all the little features that you get with it. There is 
a way to set it so that it shows the session. Like the, you can set what you charge per hour, and you can have it show what they owe you for the session. That way, you can't they can't say, well, it wasn't that much or whatever, or they can't have it just say like, well, the, it wasn't actually two hours. Well, it shows right on your unit how much they owe you and how long it's been. the session has been. And then there's cloak mode, like I said. There's a CX2 RG2 as well, which is the exact same unit, except it has a receiver for wireless pedals. And I think you can get one with the pedal as well for a little extra. Um, their customer service over at Critical is really good. I, I was talking to them for a little bit to get some information on the unit. Um, Hildebrandt sells legit ones. I emailed them about that and they told me that they are they do sell their products. It's just they don't have all their distributors on their webs on the Critical website. If you're using the HP2, this is definitely worth a look at getting. Uh, it's very similar, especially if you're used to it. It's a lot nicer aesthetically, um, and it's got a lot of the same features that I like about the HP2, like the, the presets and stuff. <coughs> and it's got the wing nut, which is going to secure it to your bench a lot better than just uh, these little hooks. Uh, so this was Nick Inc. from UC Tattoos in Cornwall, Ontario. Just a little unboxing and review of the critical CX2 G2. Definitely recommend it. Pick it up, especially if, uh, with all the different readings and stuff. It'll really help you with tuning your machines and stuff if you haven't gotten the ear tuning yet. Uh, I'll put some links in the descriptions on where I found this, where to get it, uh, as well as a link to uh, my website. And check out my new review website, which is called Think. There, I'm posting a bunch of reviews for tattoo related supplies, products, equipment aftercare products and stuff like that should have uh, reviews for Mad Tap aftercare and lotion and their cleanser as well soon I've just gotten some products from Hildebrandt and some products from Reprofex, the makers of Spirit Stencil Paper so definitely check out the website if you want to see any reviews we're trying to get a review out twice a week for um, twice a week on Mondays and Thursdays so definitely check that out. If you go to the contact page, you can subscribe to the newsletter so you never miss a review. Anyway, thank you and feel free to like and subscribe.